guys at SPI. We're here to tell you about the IRXP 5000 camera. This is an amazing camera. This camera is a fully IP addressable or serial controllable or just plain old analog camera. Amazing radiometric thermal camera. You can see on the back here we've got uh, all your ports, your Cat5 cable, serial interface, and uh, of course a standard NTSC video output. So this camera, not only uh, do you have all this uh, connection features, it's a very versatile camera. By using the Cat5, you can go straight to a computer with the included research and analysis software. Uh, just about anything you'd ever want to do in a lab or an R&D setting. Uh, you want to look at circuit boards, you want to look at samples, you want to look at anything right there with that software. We'll, we'll have a video later that goes into all the features of that software because there's so much there. But, you know, it's full real-time radiometric video, and yes, you can do that. All the analysis you want. You even get an SDK if you want to uh, integrate this into your own software, your own, uh, um, you know, national instruments or something like that. You've got your own setup. This can be integrated right in as just another sensor. Very, very nice and easy to use. Now, what we're looking at here is uh, we're doing a circuit board analysis, which is very common. You see we've got this little circuit board here uh, on this nice stand uh, to, to see it on the the computer. Unfortunately, uh, you know, you would normally have this hooked up. It would be, uh, you know, on your test bed, hooked up to some kind of power, and you'd be you'd be studying it. We don't have that, so uh, let, let me let me create a little contrast here, uh, so you can get a, a, a nice good video image of what's going on here. I'll just grab this real quick and I just heat it up a little bit here. Just just gonna just gonna sort of heat that board up a little, just so we get a little contrast on it. Then I'll uh, put this under here, and you can see now on there that uh, you can really see it's, really, really good. it's cooking. It's cooking it in places really right there. Um, but of course, your your board would be electronically powered, and the heat would be coming from inside, and you'd see every resistor and chip and exactly what's going on. Now this microscope stand is really neat as well. Uh, you, this is an option with it. You don't need this. You can put it right on a tripod, or you might have your own fixture there. But uh, th this stand is pretty cool. Of course, you can do. Full adjustment, you know, up and down, um, you know, to get the focus just right, get it, get it right in there. This is an amazing camera. This camera would be perfectly suited for anyone doing any kind of laboratory work, a university, um, R&D, in a museum, facility, museum. museum for display. That's a whole different side of this. This can also be an ideal security camera, surveillance camera. Uh, any kind of display like a museum, teaching in a school. You've got your full serial command here. This camera does speak the Pelco D protocol. And what we've got here is actually um, an analog output. So with this analog port here, you know what? Let me actually show you. You can't see this video good. Let, let's, let's plug this in. I'm going to plug in this analog uh, connection right here. Let's plug this sucker in here real quick. Uh, it's very simple. You got your BNC, normal analog connection. And then, here you go, camera guy. Why don't you plug this into the camera over there? And let's see. Let's plug that in. Okay. Now you can see, you can see right over here, that we've got the, the analog video output, and we've got the digital. digital output going to the computer. And we can do that simultaneous. You've got your analog, and you've got your digital. Now, maybe you can't see this. Let's, let's make this picture bigger. Let's, let's, let's full screen this thing. That's a nice image, isn't it? Look at that. You've got detailed thermal analysis. We can move this thing around. Get some really groovy stuff there. Really groovy stuff. So anyways, let's put that picture back. So this camera is really an amazing camera. Uh, I mean, Jim, what do you think of this thing? I'm excited about it because up until about a month ago, we've had these type of cameras and they're extremely expensive. This one here is uh, just amazing. I can't believe how low cost that we're able to offer this for and sell this. Um, but I mean, as far as the the whole package, the software comes along with it. It is uh, real-time video and it's very fast. I like the way the Ethernet trans transmits the uh, video. Look how fast that is. Some of these are very, very slow. Um, it seems to be the fastest video refresh rate going through the Ethernet here. So when you're looking at things warming and cooling, uh, it's going to be real time. So all your numeric temperatures are going to be very, very accurate. Um, so what else does it have? 384 by 288 pixels, high resolution. High res. um, there's a lot of different color palettes to choose from. I think we're going to go into uh, the software later to mm -hmm. show people. Yeah. We'll uh, there's a lot of different color palettes to choose from. Um, and uh, the focus is easy. It's not an automatic focus. You're just going to turn here to get a good focus. Or, of course, you can go up and down. 
on a nice tripod stand like this. But uh, as far as the whole package goes, we offer this with everything, you know, the software, the cables, the adapter, everything except the uh, microscope stand comes along in the package. So uh, you could use any stand. I mean, this thing here we were using earlier, there's a, three tripod holes on the bottom. So, I mean, you could face this down. You don't need to buy, uh, this is a little expensive stand, right? But you don't need that. I mean, you could use any type of a, a tripod stand if you want to mount it down, straight down. A lot of guys in the museums, are, they have it up in the ceiling. Or process control areas, they're, they're over here on, on the stand. So depending on what you want to do, uh, there is three tripod holes on the bottom for the, the mounting uh, bracket on it. Um, it's an awesome camera. Yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, I think we're about out of time today. Give us a call at SPI. Talk to uh, Jim Santana here. He can get you set up with one of these. Uh, we sell them. We also do rent them. So if you just need one, right, we, we rent, we rent these, right? these on a weekly Full basis. Full package with the software and everything. So give us a call. We're the guys at SPI. And Hope to hear from you soon.